welcome back to the part 3 of this tutorial series uh, in the previous one we have animated these things like that now we will arrange them properly and we will do some color adding in this animations so before that what i'll do is as we can see all of them are uh, coming from only this side but we don't want anything like that we need some uh, elements of this animation which can also come from this side so for that what i'll do is i'll select this e a and c and i'll enable this option press s for and unlink this chain and instead of 100 i'll type minus 100 not this 100 but this 100 i'll name it as minus one i'll select this and hit minus one and select this one and i hit minus one as we can see we are getting some trouble over here because these are not properly arranged so we know that this e should belongs to over here so i'll move this e over here after that here is our a and this belongs over here so i'll move this a over here i'll select this c and c should be here So we are getting this proper animation but you can see this are a uh, mirror image kind of thing. So for that what we will go, we will double click on this C, I will select this C, press S, unlink this as we can see their scale is 78, 78. So I will select this and I will type minus 78. So if we go in our main, sorry logo, we can see this is not a mirror image now i'll move it a little bit over here now after that same i'll go for a select this a press s or link this option instead of 78 i'll type minus 78 and adjust the position of this a. same goes for this e select this e press s link this option and let's make it minus 78 and i'll move it over here now if i hit play we are getting this kind of things i'll move it e over here and i'll move the c over here so we are getting this random animation of this alphabet move it a little bit over here also. now at this point we need to animate this rectangle but before that what we need to do we will select this b com press y to choose pen behind tool i'll drag this at the bottom of this b now after that select this rectangle i'll increase the timeline press p for position property create and but before that what we will do is we will uh, open bracket and i'll drag this over here i'll move this over here press p for position property and create one keyframe zoom in a little bit create one keyframe over here and one keyframe over here now initially what i'll do it should be over here at this point it should be over here and at this point it should be over here so Select this keyframes, hit F9, go to the graph editor, select this graph editor and let's say I'll move this graph over here, select this one, move this handle or move this graph over here and I'll adjust it like that. So we'll get this kind of stuff. Now what I'll do is I'll select this rectangle, press Ctrl Control shift c and move all attributes into the new composition and hit ok so we are getting this kind of stuff now i'll go to the effect and presets panel and i'll apply eco effect on it so we as you can see we are getting copy of this I'll go to the e count time seconds and I'll delete this initial 3 over here. Now 
as you can see we are still getting this kind of stuff i'll increase the copies up to 10 let's say go over here and let's make it one or let's say i delete this copy of one also now if i hit play yep we are gonna, you can increase the copies i will make it 30. if i hit play let's see what we are getting over here it will uh, lag a little bit let's play from the start i think 10 things is good for now yeah after that what we need to do we need to animate this b like at this point press r for rotation and create one keyframe at this b go few frames forward like over here it should be like let's say minus 10 or let's say minus 12 and after few frames it should be 8 and at this point it should be minus 4 and after some time it should be 0 select this keyframes hit f9 So we need to adjust these keyframes to move it over here. So if I play now, we are getting something like this. At this point, instead of minus 12, I'll type minus 15 and let's say minus 25. Now select this, go to the graph editor, select this graph editor, adjust it like this, adjust it like this. Yeah, so this is our logo animation of Behance logo. Now after that, we need to do some color corrections. So select all of them, press Ctrl Shift C and i'll call it as logo animation and hit ok select this logo press go to the key effect and presets panel and type fill effect on it select this background no this logo animation and let's make it blue color or instead of that let's make it white color only what we can do is delete this fill we don't need this fill for now uh, what we can do after this animation goes what we can do now there is another thing we can do go to our main animation select this logo press let's create one ellipse and let's make one circle over here Select compress control alt home and go to the align tab and align it to the center. Press S for scaling option and let's make it zero. Create one keyframe and after few frame frames, let's make it something like this and select this keyframes and hit F9. Go to the logo animation and I'll move this logo animation little bit over here so it will start to animate after five frames now go to main animation move this keyframes over here after this i'll move this over here select this keyframes hit f9 select this graph editor and adjust it like this So after that what I will do is press F4 as we can see we are getting this track mat option. Go to the track mat option and press alpha inverted map. Now after that what we will do 
we will select this select both of them press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as final logo animation and hit ok and press ctrl alt scroll close bracket sorry now after that what we can do select this final animation go to the effect and presets panel and apply tint effect on it as we can see we can swap these colors also instead of black what i'll do i'll select blue color i'll select this color code hit ctrl c to copy it and hit ok and hit ctrl d to duplicate it and i'll simply swap these colors and i'll drag it down and i'll move this over here at this when that animation off, i'll move it over here so after that we are getting this kind of animation again hit ctrl d i'll drag it over here and at this point where the animation at this point i'll drag this comp over here again go over here and at this point our animation is starting so i'll select this hit ctrl d drag it and i'll move it over here so after that what i'll do is i'll go at this point hit b as you can see we are getting this animation after that it will go in this theme and at this point after this press n as you can see our b is at this point so we need to end our animation at this point only let's move this over here again move it a little bit backward press n now our starting point is over here and our ending point is over here so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon for more updates until then stay tuned